Here we go. Uh, this time, today we are going to consolidate our stock because we have so much now that um, it can get a little difficult to manage. So we're just going to We have a lot of stuff out in space. <laughs> Belongs to the corporation. We have all these assets. I mean, it's a tall sheet of assets, and in every single one of these, it's 10 or 20 elite slaves at a time. Like, this one's 30. <laughs> okay, some of these have 30. Um, Four. So we'll s maybe we can start there. I don't really know because we're in Thera right now and we're just we're too far from everything. So what we need to do first is uh, figure out where we're gonna punch out. And um, I actually my cargo is full right now, so. Before I do anything else, I guess I'd better take these to wherever uh, I want them to end up. Let me see how close to base we are. Not very close. What about to Amar? How close to Amar are we? Alright, we'll drop these off at Amar, and we'll punch out of Thera into Basan, which is uh, allied LID signature here. Do we see it? There it is. Ignore the other results. I think um, Wingspan is taking over a lot of search and rescue stuff for EVE Scout. I don't know why that is. I don't know what they have figured out that EVE Scout isn't want, willing to get in, involved in. Maybe it has something to do with their credo. I find their credo to be just a little restrictive. They do focus a little too much on rules and uh, adhering to certain um, behavioral codes. I find that to be very um, constrictive. And you always have to worry about what you say and think about. You know, it's cargo space. Oh shit, I can't even call my probes home because I totally maxed out my cargo space. All right, here's what we have to do then. We gotta jettison some dudes. I think just one slave <laughs> is enough. Okay. Jettison. and he'll just spit it out in the form of a can. I guess, yeah, there it is. I hope nobody finds that. All right, save location. Um, it's funny, I need to empty my temporary folder here. Thera to Besson. Uh, 
Okay. Here we go. Now we can move. Decloaked. Not not very wise. Okay. So now we're good. Okay. We're jumping into Besson. Just because nobody's on D-scan doesn't mean somebody's not cloaked right there and watching. It's important to remember that. Okay, let's go to Amar. And uh, I don't suppose we're close enough to anything else, but we're not going to mess with anything. We're just going straight to Amar for now. bother cloaking since we're alone in the system. We will cloak in Naguten. And I don't know about these other places. How are my skills coming along? High speed maneuvering. 5% reduction in reduction in micro warp drive capacitor usage. I'll take it. It probably has something to do with mastery, just like cloaking. Now look here how my capacitor is it it is blank. It's like the sensor's offline or something, I don't know. Why would my capacitor be blank like that? It's it's happened before. But to see it, I have to mouse over it now. Sometimes it comes back. If I dock up and then undock, it'll be back. See, we had to click it twice. The first time was too soon. Even though I used the mouse and I went all the way from up there to down to the middle of the screen. You know, I play this in 1440. I, I hope the resolution is not too large. I think they're telling someone from Goon Swarm in chat that they don't want his money. He wants to donate to Eve Scout. Which, I know Eve Scout is doing alright. They probably don't need his money. I 
I like to decloak as I'm approaching the Stargate. So that I warp or I jump as soon as I hit it and I'm available to. I don't have to wait that extra tick. See how much faster that is. And it's not very risky, especially when you're in high sec. The real risk is uh, being scanned by customs, but we are in domain, which is under the protection of the Amar, who uh, they don't mind what we do in terms of my business. They leave me alone. Here we go. We are just about to dock at Amar. We're gonna dump these uh, slaves and then uh, we'll just take a look at the corporate deliveries and work our way out until we get enough. I think I can I'll set 12 destinations, optimize that route and then go. I'm not really sure. How to, how to do it, or maybe I just go from shortest to shortest to shortest every time. Like, I just keep looking at my corporation assets, you know? Alright, so here we go. Item hanger. What do we have here? Alright, we already got 50,000 here, so probably gotta make a new buy order now for even more. Yeah, it's that's just... The market is really good here for fucking regular... Um, Slaves. I don't know if I should keep buying, because fifty thousand seems like enough, right? Thirty-four million I spent on those. Let's just put them away. We'll stack everything up in here. See what we have. Almost three thousand elites. Sixty-five thousand regulars. Seventy-three hundred freedom fighters and one hundred fifty homeless. Okay. I can't really tell what the icon is for the Freedom Fighter. Um, but if you read their description, they're basically terrorists. They're banned from the Kaldari State. But there is no legality tab here, so I think that's only in terms of the lore. Like, Kaldari won't use them. Whereas the elites, it doesn't say much about them at all. Um, except that Galenti hates it. Yeah, they confiscate, and only in the highest security of 1.0. So maybe I'm being too careful around customs, I'm really not sure. But, um, yeah, anyway, let's just check our buy orders and all that stuff and make sure everything's still good. Yeah, we're good to go here. Okay. And, uh, we're done playing with the market. The ship is empty. We can go pick up more elite slaves. So what's the closest we have in the most? See, I don't want to jump 15 jumps. We'll just see what's closest. Okay. Yeah, here we go. It's going to be like this. All in that system, there are these three places. One, two, three. All in just Toshmurkum Prime. And then add that waypoint to the end. I guess. I'm really not sure. Um, we'll take off that final waypoint. And we're just going to Tosh Mercon for now. Here we go. Sorry, I keep bumping the microphone. Touching my face.
For some reason, my computer logs out. My laptop, I mean. There's all, I just reinstalled Linux Mint. Um, the beta for 18.3 came out, XFCE. And uh, I f you forget if it's been a long time since you've installed Linux, like how much extra uh, steps there are to get it configured, customized the way you like it. Of course, I'm, what is that, an Astero? I believe it is. No, it knocked it. Um, I use Windows to play EVE and record, because the NVIDIA GeForce experience is just, I mean, it's too good to just uh, throw it away on a Linux system where it's really not getting used. But um, I did order a new computer. Uh, I spent about $1,700 on just the computer components, and then maybe another 500 on this monitor. It's a 144 hertz monitor with G-Sync. So f I'm very much looking forward to uh, seeing this system run. Uh, it will arrive in the mail on Thursday. And, uh, and then this system that I'm playing on now will then be dedicated to... Uh, I'm going to put Linux Mint uh, Cinnamon desktop on it because um, I'll be turning this into a work computer that's only a workstation where I do uh, Photoshop and stuff like that and like maybe a little Linux gaming but not that much. I understand EVE Online runs perfectly um, under this wine envelope that the dude uh, uh, working for CCP made for everyone, so that was pretty cool of him. Um, might give it a try. I, I really don't expect much from it, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, cause it's weird, right? Like, I just, I understand that Linux is not exactly ready for graphics cards and stuff yet, like gaming cards, which it should be, but it's just not yet. Oh, I like this station where you can see the moon and then you see this Earth-like planet very clearly. But the frame rate and everything is just going to be amazing again for for everything for this computer the new computer everything's going to be sort of optimized and ready to roll i have a laptop mounted on my desk as well and that's how i've been looking up uh, information uh let's see here while playing games anyway okay corporation now what's next Okay, we've already done Tosh Mercot. We did those. It just hasn't updated. Pine Becca, we go there next. And then to Abaim, I'm sure. Okay. You see you see this? I mean we're we're consolidating right now. That's all we're doing. We're just going around and picking up everything we find. I'm gonna try and get everything. It does take a while though. I mean, this stuff is spread out pretty far. So here we go. But I understand NVIDIA did release some driver for... Uh, for their cards for Linux, but you know, I have to, I have to find, I have to find that driver, I think. Uh, this will be a first for me, installing Linux on anything other than a laptop. Um, but I'm sure it's simple. It might even be simpler on a desktop, I don't know. Especially considering that I'm using popular components, older components that the whole world bought when I bought them. 
So I'm sure there's plenty of support documentation out there. That'll make it no big deal. And somebody was saying I could use it for a capture card, and then, um, I don't know, dedicate like no system resources to the actual capturing. You know, uh, on the game that I'm playing. I keep forgetting that. I don't. What's the. I don't think there is a keyboard shortcut to bring that up. Okay, so. Sai. C. E. 6. That's where I'm headed next. And see, I'm, I'm kind of just taking whatever's closest to me next. And I'm in. You know, I don't really care where I'm going. I'm kind of. Not concerned with my destination. I'm just grabbing as many of these things as I can grab. City now. It was a big change. Uh, like there were some things about it that I, I really didn't like at first. Like, um, you know, it's funny because it's not just riding on the subways and stuff. I mean, that's that's fun and exciting, but it, it also becomes just part of everyday life. But the um, the interactions I've had with people have been shocking for me because as a as a young boy, right? Uh, or maybe it's just someone who hated the South. I don't know. A self-hating Southerner. I'm not really sure what you could call it. But I associated um, I associated the Northern accent with affluence because you tend to associate a southern accent with ignorance, right? So you go the other way. And so a big shock for me was to hear people when I got to the city um, speaking in this tone. That it's a tone that you reserve only when you know you're right about something and you've got it all figured out, right? But they will speak in this tone, in this tone, like they really understand what's going on and they're educating everyone around them, but they just say ignorant shit, like sh just as ignorant as as anyone would ever say anything, you know. And so uh, that was it was a bit of a culture shock, but it's also just kind of annoying to hear that accent over and over again, and then people saying just ignorant, factually inaccurate shit, as if because they're using that tone, like they're explaining the truth to you. I really, I resent that, I think, more than anything. And I think I only notice it here because of that um, cultural contrast, right? That because I'm coming from one and directly into another that I would notice that. Otherwise, I don't think I ever would have. Um, but it is something about, about it, like, that tone, like, Oh, well, this is this way because this. Like, no, dude. You Just because, like, you have that theory, that doesn't make it true. You can't just go around talking in an authoritative tone about everything that you encounter. And then, um, you know, that works. That's not how the world works. Okay. Fine, Becca. I already got it. So now we finally go to a BAM, which is eight jumps away. You see, we're getting kind of farther away now. But uh, I, th I think it's going to be near some other stuff too, so maybe we can just get in there and, and grab everything. And, and I don't mean to overlook uh, <coughs> my other commodities here. Like, I don't mean to ignore um, freedom fighters. But I'm not, so... Um, if if they're next, you know, if they're nearby, I'll go grab them too. I don't really care. It's a good opportunity as well to check my prices and make sure I'm still the dominant force in the region, which I am. Oh, 
had the sniffles today. It's all because I rubbed my eyes earlier. I have really bad allergies. And if I rub my eyes, that's it. It's sniffle time. So, um... Mint XFCE uh, 18.3 is about to come out. Regular Cinnamon 18.3 is already out. It has a new backup feature, which is pretty cool. Maybe I should just talk about Eve Online, though, since we are playing Eve and not Linux Online. I'm, I'm not really sure... Uh, what to talk about here. I'm consolidating these slaves <laughs> because... I have market orders all over New Eden. I buy from anywhere in any region I can get to, basically. And uh, I do this because, you know, my goal is to own as many as I can and be and just have more. Uh, in my possession and more on the market than anyone else and then in that way I can be the dominant market force in uh, slavery it's a long goal right like I'm, I'm gonna do at least another 45 days of just accumulation and it's gonna be a, probably 45 days later I'll do this again where I go through and attempt to consolidate everything into one hanger. Oh, sorry about my sniffles. I know it's kinda crazy. Okay. Automatically lock the session. Yeah, never. Okay. And then now hopefully that'll stop locking my uh, laptop every time I ignore it for 10 minutes. Because I just reinstalled Linux, so I've got to go through and change all these settings. It's set up for maximum security, which is cool, but not necessary. Like, if I worked in an office, I would leave that on. Because I'm not going to walk away from my desk, you know, while um, Deborah uh, from advertising who likes to gossip about everybody um, can just lean over and get on it, right? I would want it automatically locked as I walked away. But in my own bedroom? I mean, I really, don't, I really don't even need my home folder encrypted, but I encrypt it because um, that's for when your laptop gets stolen. So, you do want some degree of encryption. If it's just as basic as entering your password when you turn it on or after you shut the lid, then that's secure enough. That's going to keep your documents and your passwords and everything safe. Okay, one more jump and then we'll be docking at a bank. And maybe I should just go back into that zero wormhole and jump out another side because this might not be the best uh, place to be grabbing these right now, especially because I just had to make all those jumps. But we'll we'll see what happens after this. I'll go ahead and look at the assets again. So then we're looking at it six jumps away. But we'll just keep doing it this way. I don't really see a problem with this. We are making some strings of jumps I'd rather not make. But um, we'll just see what happens. 
I am getting these tins off my list in any case, so that's good. And I don't know why this guy would... Oh, sorry, I was reading the chat. Somebody's trying to get into their um, corporation from a competitor. Like, I don't see why you wouldn't just go in with an all and never mention your friend. <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot, uh, a lot going on in Linux here. Linux Mint is the operating system that is going to that challenges um, Windows and Mac. There's just some kind of um, I'm not sure what it is, but people really need to get away from Windows because. There's just, there has to be more out there. Like, especially if you really liked how good Windows 7 was, that you thought, if you thought XP was good, and then you felt like 7 was an improvement on XP without losing any features, uh, and then you weren't happy with the direction Windows 8 and 10 went, then Linux Mint is the perfect operating system for you, because you retain total control over your system. The way 7 gave you with all the polish that 7 has, but then you also have even more modern features like, um, it's, you know, you're using a system that is uh, designed with modern architecture in mind, and, uh, modern computer usage habits and techniques in mind so that you don't have to come up with these workarounds to get the, the things done that you want to get done. That your system was created with that in mind. Oh, look, there's a hurricane on that planet. Okay. Warp drive active. How do we move? We're moving. I mean, we're not getting that many slaves fast, but this is sure a whole hell of a lot faster than liberating them off of a, a fight 10 at a time, you know? You let other people do that. Let other people sell them for trash, and then, you know, a thousand esque or four thousand or whatever I paid for this crap. Maybe fifty thousand in domain, because I do pay more in domain than anywhere else. But uh, they let them do the fighting. Man, it's just not worth it. There are better things to do, like just go live your life and then come back and fucking retrieve these things after they break them out and sell them. And hopefully after I get to Abtishan, I dock up the, and everything, that'll be good uh, stuff close by. Like as soon as I issue the dock command, I, I'm going to go and look at my corporation assets again, and we'll see what's going on. Okay, docking up. Here we go. The BAM. We've already been there. Okay. So everything now is six jumps out. Six jumps. Eight jumps. Ten. Um, but we'll just keep hitting them, I guess. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. There we go. And we're off. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've picked up seven deliveries so far on our way to the eighth. Warp drive active. And how many more do I really have to do? A lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15. Dude, at least 40 or 50, 60, I guess. A lot, you know. A lot. And this is all over domain. I paid more for these than anything else. So I guess it's fitting that I would go pick them up first. But I'd rather go pick up the 30s. You know. And, may, and maybe after I get enough of these and I, I get sick of it, I'll like pick up the 30. Let me see like if there's a Thera wormhole nearby. This final destination where I'm headed next. Uh, where is it? Habushi? Hisufad? They'll never call it Jacksonville or something. Okay. Yeah, like eight jumps? I'm not gonna. I mean, I think I'd rather just do another six and get more slaves in that case and then see what if there's a wormhole near one of these stations there will be one Anytime you set up a new computer, there's a lot of stuff you gotta do to make it the way you like it. See, since living in New York, um, what's it like? You know, I live in Brooklyn. And every time I walk out my door, I smell marijuana. And just everybody is just getting stoned. <laughs> and, having, and, and there are families and stuff too. It's, it's a little something for everybody. Right now, I am buying and selling props to mo movie, uh, TV, and film studios, as well as playhouses. In Brooklyn especially, there are a lot of studios. And so, like, I've worked with uh, major set dressers and set decorators, designers, uh, and some of the most important people in the industry. Um, like I, I email with them and stuff and that's kind of my job right now is you know to get props into the movies um, and, and make a lot of money off of the studios and then uh, I but I came here to do journalism and I did some uh, journalism downtown in downtown Manhattan at uh, Pace University, I, I did a story. I did a story on police corruption. I did a story on the budget. I did. Uh, I got to hang out with like all these jazz legends and uh, meet Christian McBride and stuff, which was really cool. And, I, and journalism is still my number one passion, even though I'm making uh, my living doing, um, you know, this stuff with props and. Uh, TV studios and stuff like I I recently sold to CBS uh, Paramount Pictures I forgot who else came in Castle Rock I don't know not Castle Rock they're not still around are they but it was I mean I see these names you know I'm like oh wow you know I saw that on TV or good god I used to see that all the time as a kid MGM you know and then I see it on their fucking credit cards and shit it's crazy um 
which is uh, that's cool but uh but no journalism's still my passion i just don't um gosh you know <laughs> part of me is kind of afraid of uh like getting into it and because my my first foray into downtown journalism in uh lower manhattan was um i'm just trying to cloak here can i cloak i'm still too close to that station okay well fuck it we'll just take a look um i i am feeling a little apprehensive about it i don't know why and i think it's because i'm afraid of like you know moving to the next stage of my life i have always kind of had that fear uh, fear of success maybe i don't know but i wish all these were not just right here in domain um we're gonna but we'll go we'll go there here we go Warp drive active. but at the same time uh, you know i'm making so much money right now i'm making more than i've ever made in my life and uh I'm living comfortably. And, uh, you know, it's not surprising. It's not. Um, it's not unique or, uh, what do you call it, impressive. But I've lived such an unusual life throughout my 20s that uh, just having a place and working at this uh, place for six months and chilling out has been um, such a change of pace for me that because listen throughout my 20s right I I was a party animal like you really wouldn't believe it and even I don't believe it when I look back on it that I survived it and everything that you know no DUIs nothing like that and uh, no life ruining choices um just having a really good time right but living pretty loose and uh you know i've worked 35 jobs in my lifetime i'm it, i've done so much stuff because like i would just get i would get loose right i would get too relaxed at a place and i would just you know tell somebody something i shouldn't tell them or just get bored with a job or you know, get mad at someone and quit or whatever. Uh, but I was able to do that because um, I don't know. I just uh, had a way of always landing on my feet. Um, so this change of pace has been uh, welcome, I would say because for the last 10 years, it's been up in the air. And then in the last couple years in particular, it's been kind of stressful because I went through that major breakup in 2015 that still, you know, challenges me because I really liked her. Um, and then, so there was that breakup and then I had to I had to move because we lived together so I had to move my whole life uh, up and out and then um, like I lived with my dad for a while uh, for almost a year or so and, uh, and I stayed in a camper for a while in the woods like in the United States like this camper is perched right on the edge of the Cherokee National Forest. So, but even there, I wasn't safe. Like I was working on the road, and then I would just go back to my camper on the weekends, which was remote. But um, I would go, I would go out on the road, and I would always be in some new city, and I didn't. You know, and they would always just be these little in-between cities in the south that were, they would be in-between actual major cities where cool shit was going on. And it was just one suburb after another of going out 
and meeting with assholes. It was like they liked these places. We could have met anywhere, but we always met at these hell holes between cities and never at an actual place where there was any like culture or good time to be had or whatever. Like if I wanted to, you know, find just a place where there was live performances going on, um, I would just go to the cities and then I would drive an extra 45 minutes in the morning to work because it would be better lifestyle overall. But anyway, this is a huge tangent. And uh, so I'm really decompressing after being in these uncomfortable um, living situations for so long. I mean, just because I was in a camper in the woods doesn't mean I was camping. I, I lived comfortably out there, right? Like there was power and internet. It was it was fine. Um, but uh, what what's you know? But it wasn't like this. It, like I didn't have a place where I could just where I went every night and crashed, and it was the same every every time. I, and I haven't lived that way in, uh, since 2015. Um, and I, I moved here in May, so, or no, April. It was the last week of April of 2017 I moved here. Had a hell of a time um, since then. Very stressful though. Until, uh, until recently, where I've realized that I'm in this, uh, basically a holding pattern, right, where everything is chill, I'm putting money away in savings, and, uh, I'm finally at a place in life where things are relaxed and calm enough so I can go around gathering up my elite slaves. It looks like that was my ninth pickup, and let's see what the next one is. Nine jumps. Why are they getting farther and farther away? Oh, but there are 20. So there's the carrot, right? This is fucking stupid. Okay, then there's another 20. Let's see if there's anything nearby, though. Shar. Helland. Okay, seven jumps into the bleak lands. We're back into domain. So, um, let's, let's see here. Is anything on the way between here and there? No. Okay, but we we will get there, and then we'll go and try and pick up some of these bigger ones. Because this is, the jumps are getting kind of stretched out here, and I don't, that's what I didn't want to happen, so we're just going to go straight to Germa. Now that, I mean, we did just pick up those, yeah, we picked them up. Or Yerma, it's probably pronounced Yerma. Yerma? Oh. But do I? You know, I kind of miss. I miss Richmond. Um. Richmond was comfortable. And and you could drive like anywhere you needed to go, you could drive, which was kind of nice. But I think it's way nicer and way cheaper here uh, that anywhere I need to go, I can just get on the train. So, and I live right on the L, so I can, dude, I can feel it in the buildings. And then, uh, so that's how close I am to the station, so I just walk outside and I'm at the station, and, uh, and then within 30 minutes, like, anywhere else in the city. It's pretty nice. But because I still sometimes get 
kind of lost. It's more like 45 minutes and I'm anyway. <laughs> Insurance fraud. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it's like once we get up here to this wormhole. Just four jumps now. Some people will autopilot and just sit staring at their computers while it's happening. Did you know that? The noobs. That's how the noobs do it. So, the new computer. I'm looking forward to the, uh, like how there are. There are going to be fewer frame drops, if any. I, so, I got the GTX 1080. Um, what do you call it? graphics card the duke <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge graphics card like some people were saying they had to like cut their fan bays out and stuff but I'm, I'm pretty sure I got the right case for it and uh, it has three fans it's a massive graphics card and it has three fans somebody said it's the size of my forearm um, you must have big forearms because it's a huge card and, uh, yes, so it's got three fans. Like, the whole surface is just fans, you know? The Duke. But I bought it just on the branding alone. I loved the name, the Duke, and the, the Duke lights up. You know, John Wayne. There... Somebody wrote a review and it was all in John Wayne's voice and I thought this is just too funny, right? I was sold on it. That sold me better than any kind of uh, complaints about coil wine or anything uh, could have deterred me from that card. But there better not be coil wine, I swear to God. I figure you pay $500 for something you don't have to hear it whine. Oh, we're here. Okay. Well, we are looking for LKZ. Oh, it's not here. Oh no, RQD. It's not here. Um. Okay. Well, look. The system isn't perfect. You know. How close are we to? Uh, a year a Y E R. Thirteen, not gonna happen. All right. So how close are we to our deliveries? Somebody's really thumping around up there. 11 jumps. Not good, man. We're kind of just out here in the middle of nowhere, aren't we? No, uh, we're pretty close to Amar. We can bring these back to Amar, I suppose. Okay, that's what we'll do. How many, how many am I bringing? 90? Well, hold on a sec. Let's, let's not do anything just yet. Um, we'll take we'll take a look at our assets one more time, and maybe we'll just 
number of items. We're just going to boom straight out to one that has a lot. Yeah, here we go. 20 jumps. If we're going to do a big move, we're just going to have to do a big move like that, right? But also, we will see if um, any of these that have elites... Simela or Anya. We'll just see if they're close by. Because if you can cut cut out your jumps, that's what you really want to do is the total number of jumps, you want to cut that down. But you also don't want to waste too much time searching for it either, right? Like, since we can't really cut our jumps in half or anything like that, or we can't even shave a few off, we're going to just go... Twenty jumps, that's that's not really that bad in a blockade runner. Blockade runners move almost as quickly as um covert ops. In every regard. See I'm just bouncing clumsily off the Stargate. So realistic. Nothing breaks immersion like watching your spaceship flip around 180 degrees. Like a stupid dog's head bumping into the wall. You take so many things for granted in this game. But yeah, I felt bad that I wasn't, um, that my life has felt kind of directionless for the last six months. And I was explaining this to a friend and he said, yeah, dude, but look, look at your life, man. You're finally decompressing. Like most people do this five years ago or something right where they can say okay finally you know whatever I'm 25 I can chill out but I just kept going <laughs> right? like I maintained a level of intensity that um, I noticed others around me like weren't even interested in keeping weren't trying to keep and I wasn't doing it on purpose but I just that's just the way it worked out that's just the life I've led it's a lot of fun a lot of instability and uh, that has a cost of uh, mental health I, I think so there's a lot of questioning yourself in, in the last two years where like I'm doing one thing to make another thing happen and while I'm doing that thing you know try not to let it affect who I am, right? Try not to let it uh, bleed my soul any more than it would necessarily have to just on the basis of the amount of time I put into it. It shouldn't also take this psychological effect on me, right? And you should not ever get emotionally invested in your job uh, or it'll make that way worse if you ever or in that situation for yourself and I mean fortunately I wasn't but I, I, I had friends though and I saw my friends getting involved and that was uh, and if they're really your friends then you care about them and you don't want to see anything bad happen to them so to see a workplace do that to people was fucking crazy right and like there were there were women uh, who seemed intent on destroying the reputations of decent men in this company like because there was sexism in the company right um, but they would go after these these guys that were not sexist or or ugly at all but because they were the opposite they were like vulnerable sens sensitive people uh, they were easily victimized by these women who were just going out and trying to to make the guys look bad and see if they could get anything out of it. It was fucking crazy, man. 
in the women in this organization, they already were getting special treatment, like in a in a lot of ways. So it just, uh, you know, that can make a work environment feel very uh, dangerous and hostile and toxic. On top of the the nature of the work I was doing. which I've been advised not to get into. It was very EVE Online. You could look at it that way. Because I sure did. Okay, here we are. We're in the lowest uh, point of high sec, which gives way to low sec. My favorite uh, security space. 750. Normally I'd buy those, but it's just not even worth the, the time it takes to dock up and get out there. See, there's my regional buy order. It outdoes all the NPCs. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to uh, wiping this drive. I don't know if I'm going to keep Windows on it or not, or if I am really am going to switch it over to Linux Cinnamon. I am anxious to do that, and then I want to run Windows on a virtual machine in Linux if I need things like uh, Photoshop on that computer. I think that's how I'm going to do it criminal in the system. Then he jumped. <coughs> Excuse me. He was in a Tristan. Yeah, my allergies are really bothering me. I think, um, on one of, oh, a Loki. So this is kind of a gate can. He could try something. So we're just going to be ready, as always, with our cork. And we hit it. Okay. The only indication that you have, besides it not working, is a message will pop up in a black box. It's easy to miss, and it'll tell you that uh, you were not able to cloak because your cloaking, your gate cloak was preventing activation of the module. Which is why it's important to time it slightly after you, you hit the thing. You give it the jump command. I know a lot of these are principles that I keep reiterating, but I just feel like uh, it's important that if you hear it a lot, that it, maybe that might lend to you picking it up as a pattern of your own, because it's the only safe way to get around at a certain point. You have to do that. As a matter of course, not just in special cases where it becomes a special move that you're not familiar with. You need to always be doing it. As I move, I uh, I look at my orders, make sure everything is normal. See, I've been wearing this guy down. He only has 34 days left on that. Um, ridiculous. See, this thing fucks up the prices, but this is my fault for letting it happen because I originally started one much higher than that. So I brought that on myself, but 34 days and that... Um, error will be corrected. And most of the others, I think every, all my competition is going to expire around that time where I started fucking with the market. I really shouldn't have fucked with the market like I did. But it's okay because it's all adjusted now. There are just those weird outliers that will expire on their own.
the ones that are selling them for like two million and stuff. I really want the global price of these things to go down, down, down. And then I'll do it again where I com I completely. Well, I won't say what I'm gonna do. I'm comfortable saying what I've done, but not what I'm going to do next. People argue with me over this uh, corporation when they they encounter it. They say, "What are you doing? What are you, you moron?" You can't do that. You can't do this. And then they, they say, um, what do they say? They tell me that they tell me I, that I can't do it because of this factor or that factor. That they think that I haven't. That I don't already know that, right? So they they start criticizing my business without having even a basic understanding of how it works, right? And I just, and it's hard for me to just let them do that, but I have to let them do that because I'm I'm not gonna be baited to spilling my secret of how I do it. And even though you're watching what I do right now, I haven't really spilled my secret of how I make this work for me. I mean, dude, if you've played EVE Online for like five years or something, couple years more than I have then you you probably know right and you're not surprised and you could probably fuck with my business but um, for the most part the fact that it's relatively unknown how I do this is sort of the point isn't it like the reason exploration is not as good as it was a few years ago is not because exploration got worse it's because people like me <laughs> made these exploration videos right and then a bunch of people got better at it um, and so and it's because now everybody and his cousin knows about exploration they're out there and there's a lot more competition for the sites even when there was like a few months ago when the the logins were down to like 14,000 13,000 at night 11,000 you still if you went out to where the spots were good there were still people doing it whereas when I first started doing it there was nobody out there to compete so it's not that exploration has gotten worse since 2014 it's that there are just a lot more people doing it so if I want to enjoy slave trading I'm not gonna make the video where I show you exactly how to do it the way I did with exploration I learned my lesson you know <laughs> no, it was cool though, because it's cool that uh, that you guys watch those videos. Because a lot of it wasn't even just about learning uh, the ship. Apparently, it was a, a lot of you were just uh, hanging out, watching it at work and stuff, watching it as you fall asleep. Um, I think that's cool. Okay, here we go. We're gonna dock up, and I think we have we have 30 waiting for us here, don't we? And we'll go ahead and take a look at the assets, and figure out where we're headed next. Yeah, 30 here. Geku time. I don't know why that's there. Oh, a number of items. Okay. Oh, here's one two jumps away. With 24, that's where we go next. Okay. So we got 54 and a couple jumps. Do you notice how I move through low sec, null sec, high sec, pretty much uh, without worrying about what security I'm going into? That's because I'm already operating as if I'm in null sec. All right. So the big difference then becomes just watching out for um, customs, which is you handle them the same as you would if you were trying to jump a gate camp, just cloak immediately and go, which I do all the time, as you've noticed. That's what I'm saying. You like, you make it so that your protocol covers everything all the time. Okay, so I know that this shit is illegal in Sinclair Zone because I've got that warning, so I need to just go. 
There's a rattlesnake. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, we got cloak now. And we're fine. Heron is what they call uh, heroin in the ghetto. <laughs> oh, he's on that heron. You gotta check your orders compulsively while you're in the area because uh, you never know. You never know. So it looks like somebody bought four of my really expensive elites that I keep on sale in this region. Where were they at Dodexy? Yeah. I think that's the highest I sell them for anywhere. Now 144. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. You see? This is fun. Uh, what else? Oh, dude, there's another 30? Oh, Anya? No. I think we just got those. Yeah, we did. It just hasn't updated it yet. Okay. We need to check that. Okay, bad guys here. Warp drive active. Gotta look at my assets again. I wish it would update that. I don't I don't wanna miss those. They're only two jumps away. I think I got those, didn't I? have a new memory. I have a new memory? Fucking phone. Finish setting up your iPhone. Apple Pay. Dude, leave it alone, please. I'm not doing that. Apple Pay. And it, it leaves a notification on your thing. Okay. Oh god, I'm at Genesis. I'm gonna keep checking these assets. This can't be right. I thought I already got those. Yeah. Alright, so I'm... <sighs> Alright, this is dumb, but I'm gonna go over there and I'm just gonna check. I'm pretty sure I already got those. Yeah, I did. I got them. It just updated. Okay. So stupid, man. There are 23 jumps from here. Okay. 
10 jumps, 30. Yeah, 23. Okay. Yeah, we're getting the bigger numbers now. This is what I wanted out here anyway. I, r I really wanted to get these. These are supposedly worth four million on local prices, right? <laughs> if I sell them at five hundred thousand each, I'm getting way more than that. Which that's what they sell for in Cheetah. That's where I sell them. If people, for whatever reason, just have to buy them in Cheetah, so that's where I really sell them in bulk. I buy more of them elsewhere, but I really sell them in Cheetah. That's where you're going to sell anything. Especially the obscure stuff, the hard to find stuff. Like, people want to sell that in Cheetah. <laughs> Criminal and a catalyst gate camping. Gate camping criminal and a catalyst. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay, we're just gonna snatch them up and leave. Okay, where to next? Uh, four jumps, there are 20. There's still 30, 13 away. Let's go uh, 13, that's not that bad. Let's go get them. You know, this this had to happen eventually. Um, we're just getting, we're taking care of it. We're getting a bunch. How many do I have now? 164. About to have 194. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's more than we could carry in a covert ops. Making the blockade runner uh, all the more justified for this purpose. The blockade runner is for moving slaves. I mean, unless you're moving them through domain, okay? And you only have to move them, like, through space that's not gonna uh, challenge you. Then you should just use the T1, like, dedicated slave hauling ship. But, but if you're gonna go all over New Eden, and you're gonna cross county lines, you gotta be in the right, uh, in the right ship for the job. You cannot be having customs find you every step of the way. You're gonna blow your income.
stopped uh, blowing my income on eating out it makes a huge difference man I was spending six hundred dollars a month eating out dude if you just don't eat out for like two months all your money is back and then some and then you're like fuck I make a lot of money I can afford to eat out and it starts over. It starts over. But, because, look man, this is New York, you spend $20 every time you walk out your door. You can't also be, uh, just throwing it away on food all the time. I mean, it's nice having somebody else cook you something, whatever you ask for, right? But it just can't be that way all the time. It can, I guess, but I wasn't saving anything. And just like with the slaves here, they keep themselves going. You know, I'm not saving anything, but the operation keeps itself going, it seems. I might be saving, I'm not really sure. I haven't looked at the wallet. Let's take a look at the wallet. 263? Yeah, I think that's up. I mean, we've spent a lot more, but look, we also made 44 million right there. So, I don't know. We make more purchases, but I think we make more money in the long run. <laughs> but I do purchase zealously. Like, I'm buying a lot of them, dude. I'm trying to... You know, I'm, I'm trying to be the Baron, the Tycoon, the Baron, whatever, the guy that you go to, the fucking Rockefeller of slaves. Not all slaves, just these uh, special ones. You understand. They're special. Here we go. And we're just moving right along. Bought a new mouse as well. Not a great mouse, but a new one. It's a gaming mouse. Just a three button gaming mouse. I don't care for the extra buttons. With every new um, fresh installation of Firefox, you gotta go through and, you know, ask it not to do this and that. <laughs> Don't share my stuff. Ask others not to. Genesis, have I looked at my market? I have here. Yeah. Killing it. default search engine who would want Yahoo in this day and age why Yahoo man they were lucky to make it off of web 1.0 
Nice and calm. We're about to pick up a you know, big important load of slaves from Simeli. Simeli? Simeli? Simea. Doing quite well here. Here we go. I just wonder who like went out here and sold them. Is this a big trade hub here? No, Apanaki is. Pasha and I doesn't really need to be there, but it's been pulling orders, so I'm just gonna let it keep doing that. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. That's one of my my weird ones. Before I got uh, before I standardized the way I I buy stuff. All right. So what are we at now? Seven, thirteen deliveries. Uh, let's see. Oh no this number of items everything else is pretty far six jumps 20 six jumps away okay what's what's the closest thing 20 why didn't it show that Malma that's where we're going Criminal capsule on the gate. Warp drive active. And we're here. Time to talk. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. The certified news development studio. Interesting.
produces entertainment material that is shipped to publisher. What is this place? Okay. Anyway. Let's just do what we're here to do. Now, 14 deliveries. Is that enough? Am I done? Let's take a look at what's nearby. I feel like I'm done. Oh, another 24 jumps away. Maybe we better go get them too. Look how many more deliveries there are to do. See how many people sell 10 at a time. How many do you think are here? Some 20s out there. But that's what we're dealing with. Four jumps, 20. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. We'll stay here and uh, we'll come back to this later. Thanks for chilling. 14 deliveries. We'll get them home.